Hey, are you sitting down? Well, maybe you should. I have some breaking news for you guys. You ready? You have bugs in your gut. What? Take a break, take a break. All right, it's okay. Breathe. It's not a big deal. Now, you may have seen the movie Aliens, where these aliens <laughs> come out of your body. Well, this is very different from that. You have bugs and it's okay. In this video today, we're gonna discuss the microbiome. Are you confused? What does that even mean? What are they talking about? Will you learn everything you need to know in this video? We'll discuss what is the microbiome, what affects your gut microbiome, what does it actually do? And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna give you my tips on what you can do to have the best microbiome in your gut. We're gonna optimize your bugs so you can be in your tip top shape. Guys, let's talk about poop. How do y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks so you can live your best life from the top all the way down to your bottom. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe so you get more information on what you're learning like in today's video. So what exactly is the gut microbiome? Your gut has trillions of different bacteria, fungi, viruses, all interacting in your body, making decisions every nanosecond of your life. Yes, you have these guys in here that are making decisions for you. And the interaction between the food, the gut microbiome, the diet, the environment, the stress, plays a role in your overall health. So within this whole trillions of bacteria, you have good guys and you have bad guys. And there is a constant battle between the good guys and the bad guys. And for a lot of individuals, that battle can be lost from any number of different things that you do to damage your gut microbiome. And when you lose that battle, you can manifest in all sorts of symptoms, whether it's GI symptoms, bloating, distension, diarrhea, constipation, or leaky gut, or even outside the GI tract, whether it's eczema, dry skin, dandruff, joint issues, brain fog, or autoimmune disease, it is that balance that's very important for maintaining overall health. Now there are different names for the gut microbiome, whether it's your gut flora, your microbe, your microbiome, your microflora, the bug guys, who knows, but all involves all this interaction inside your GI tract. So what exactly affects the gut microbiome? What actually begins from birth? whether you are vaginally delivered or cesarean section that affects how your gut microbiome is. In fact, we have seen studies of babies who were delivered vaginally or cesarean section and has seen a change in the composition of the good guys and the bad guys. Now there are other things that can affect the gut microbiome, including things like diet. We know that a diet, which I'll talk about later, that's pro-inflammatory will increase the bad guys and decrease the good guys. But stress also affects the gut microbiome. All those hormones that you get whenever you're stressed out or you're not feeling good can change or alter the good guys and the bad guys. Sometimes if you take prior antibiotics, they can wipe out all the good guys and lead to serious long-term problems. And there are other medications out there that can really affect the interaction in your gut. So what exactly is the big deal? What does the microbiome do? Well, your gut system is basically one big immune system. It affects the immunity of your whole entire body. And this could affect things like how you get sick, your susceptibility to getting sicknesses or illnesses, how you fight off those illnesses, how you can recover if you become sick as well. In addition, metabolism is also influenced by your gut microbiome. Sometimes if you're having problems losing weight, it could be a result of an imbalanced gut microbiome. Or if you have a problem gaining weight, that can also be a problem from the balance of your good guys and your bad guys. Obviously gut issues can be related to your gut microbiome. Have you ever been diagnosed with IBS? Well, it can be due to the bad guys that are proliferating in your gut. Do you have really bad inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis? It could be the root cause of your GI tract. Do you have really bad heartburn, bloating, distension, feeling like you're pregnant all the time? That could be related to what's going on in your gut microbiome. And so there are a lot of GI symptoms that are related to that change, that balance of the good guys and the bad guys. And certainly cognitive function 
including things like Alzheimer's, has been linked to change in your gut microbiome, and mood disorders, including depression or anxiety, has a role when it comes to your gut microbiome and how that can influence those particular conditions. Now, the whole point of your gut microbiome is to either maintain that balance between the good guys or the bad guys, or to minimize or squash those bad guys and increase the good guys. So what exactly are the foods that can help proliferate the good guys? Here are the ones that I recommend. Basically, it comes down to two main groups. You wanna have foods that have a lot of probiotics, and you wanna have foods that have a lot of prebiotics. The foods that have a lot of prebiotics are foods that typically add fuel to the good guys that are there. There are fibrous foods that act as fertilizer for the good guys. These include foods like chicory root, Jerusalem artichoke, oatmeal, onions, asparagus, bananas, and garlic. Keep in mind these are foods that act as a fertilizer to your gut microbiome to enhance the good guys and allow them to win that battle. But you may also wanna add probiotic foods as well. Probiotics are extra bacteria reinforcements to add on what's going on inside your GI tract. These include foods like kefir, kimchi, yogurt, miso, sauerkraut, kombucha, and sour pickles. Once again, these are added reinforcement to help out the guys that are there. So here's my call to action to you. This week, look at the foods that you're eating. Are you adding enough good guys to help out with the army going on in that battle inside your GI tract? Are you adding good prebiotic foods or probiotic foods? Are you helping your gut microbiome? Check and see, do what you can to improve that balance so you don't have to suffer from gut issues and you can start to live a healthier life. My question today for you, have you tried adding these foods to your diet? Has it made a difference? Has it helped? Comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Like, share, and subscribe so you can get more videos like you're watching in today's video. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, everybody.